Hi friends and welcome to this session. This will be a short one. We have already discussed two techniques for returning values from tasks running in normal threads. In this video, we will discuss the third technique for the same and we will make use of the join functionality that the threads API provides out of the box. Now, in the last video, we saw that the join functionality is similar to the wait and notify mechanism. So, we are just going to copy that same code from the returning values first way video and then modify it to work with the third technique. Let us create our task first. We will copy value returning task A and create value returning task C. We do not need the variable done and any of its related functionality, so removing it. We have a simple task here now that just carries out its business and then returns the result through a getter. There is no complicated logic for synchronizing the result retrieving call with completion of the task. That part will be taken care of by the thread class itself when join is called on it. Let us code the main class now. We will copy returning values first way and create a new class returning values third way. The first change that this class needs is the replacement of all occurrences of value returning task A with value returning task C. And then we need to join the threads from the main thread before trying to retrieve the results from the tasks executing in those threads. As the join method throws interrupted exception, we have to either surround it with a try catch or declare it. So I am just declaring it here. And we have to change the ID of the task as well that I have forgotten to do. Right. Let us run the main class now. We see that the three tasks have started running and then in due time they have finished in the sequence task 3 first then task 2 and finally task 1. After that we see the three computation results being printed in the sequence 1, 2 and 3. Now this is why it has happened. After starting the three threads the main thread calls join on thread 1. Till the time the t1.join does not return, its result statement cannot be executed. So as soon as the task 1 ends, the join returns and the result is printed. However, before task 1 ends, task 2 and task 3 have already ended. After printing the result of task 1, the main thread calls join on thread 2. This call returns immediately as the second task had already finished. Therefore, its result is printed immediately after the result of task 1. Similarly, task 3 had also finished by the time the main thread called join on the third thread. So, the result of the third thread is also printed immediately after that 
of the second one and lastly the main thread ends. Let us now change the sleep time of the three tasks so that task 1 finishes first and task 3 finishes last. Running it now. This time we see the results of the tasks and task finish notifications being printed intermittently. Let us see how it has happened. After starting the three threads, the main thread calls join on the first one. The first task had not ended till then. When the first task ends, it prints its done message and the call to join returns. Then the main thread prints the result of task 1. By this time, task 2 and task 3 are still executing as we do not see their done notification by this point in the output. After printing the result of task 1, the main thread calls join on thread 2. When task 2 ends, it prints its done message and the join call to its thread returns soon after. Then the main thread prints the result of task 2. Similarly, by the time the main thread calls join on thread 3, it has still not finished. When task 3 finishes, it prints its done notification and the join on its thread returns, after which the main thread prints its result. And lastly, the main thread ends. So, we see that instead of coding the complicated wait and notify calls in the task, for synchronizing the get some call and the task finish, we can easily use the join functionality. That's all for this video. See you in the next one now where we will discuss the join mechanism equivalent for the executor's API. Take care, happy coding and bye.